I recently made a video comparing the iPhone 12 to the GoPro Hero 9. And for most of the scenes shot on the GoPro Hero 9 in that video, I used GoPro Color. But when I went back and looked at the footage when I was editing it, I realized that a lot of the scenes on the GoPro Hero 9 looked a little cartoonish is the best way I could describe it. And so like I said in that video, GoPro Color sometimes works great and sometimes it throws things off, particularly in bright sunlight. So this video really is part two of that video. So right now I'm shooting on the iPhone 12 and I'm gonna record all the video on the GoPro Hero 9 for this comparison in flat color and then I'm gonna go back and color grade it. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I wanna see what these look like, how they compare when I put them on YouTube. Also, there's probably some of you out there who are curious as well about how these compare and how you can get the most out of your GoPro. So for everything in this video, it's shot in 4K, 24 frames per second, which is my preferred frame rate. And the GoPro is in linear. And when I do the stabilization test coming up, I'll use the GoPro Boost HyperSmooth. And finally for the GoPro, I'll set the sharpness to medium. Now this is actually the second round of doing all these videos because in the first round, I had the GoPro sharpness set to low. And when I went back and looked at the footage, it almost looked like the camera lens had some smudges on it. So to do a fair comparison, I had to do this again setting the sharpness to medium and i didn't see a big difference between high and medium now i will include one scene that i shot previously and that is in my studio because i wanted to get an idea of what it looked like with the studio light behind me and in that scene the gopro sharpness will be at low so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about now for my scenes outside i am using an external microphone the rode smart Life plus because we're getting a lot of gusts of wind and if i try to use the built-in microphone especially on the iphone it just wouldn't sound good now i'm going to walk around and give you an idea of what the stabilization is like now i did that in the first video that i made but again i want to see if anything changes by shooting in flat color on the GoPro and then color grading it. All right, so now I'm walking behind the cameras and again, I'm doing the stabilization test here in case you did not watch that other video. And like I said, I wanna see if this changes by shooting in flat and color grading the GoPro Hero 9 footage. So just walking, I'll pick it up to a run here in a second. And when I start running, you'll see that the GoPro stabilization is just insane. All right, so let's run. I'm trying to hold the cameras about the same, but the iPhone 12, I can just look at the screen and see that it's really bouncing up and down. The video is, I mean, the cameras are about the same, but the stabilization on the GoPro is like none other. And then I'll do a pan here. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I've noticed that some smartphones as you pan will kind of lock on to a subject and then let go and it looks a little jumpy. So I just want to see if there's any difference here by panning around. So this is a front facing test. Again, I've got the GoPro in my left hand and the iPhone in my right hand. And this is a, you know, a common vlog scenario. So I want to show you what the stabilization looks like, what the color looks like, and I'm still using the Rode Smart Lock Plus. So I've got the GoPro still set to linear. One thing that I'm gonna do here for this comparison is I'm going to have the angle go out to wide. And that's one thing that's really nice about the GoPros is how wide you can get them. So I'll show you wide and then I'll show you super view. So now I've got the GoPro set to wide and I've got the iPhone 12 and the Hero 9 right next to each other. But you can see there's more field of view with the GoPro, which is really nice. Now. Like I said earlier, I'm using Boost for all of these stabilization tests and it does crop in a little bit. But it's really nice that you can adjust your field of view a little bit more with the GoPro. When you're using the front facing camera of the iPhone 12, you cannot really do that. Let's go to Super View so you can see what that looks like. So this is Super View and it's really nice if you're vlogging with the GoPro and you wanna get your surroundings behind you. You can just get a whole lot more into the scene. I'm curious to see what the iPhone 12 stabilization is like right now because I'm not running too much. The phone's not moving around too much in my hand, but because I am walking, there is some movement on the phone. Here's a common scenario that I do when I'm doing a bike review, and that is just holding the camera in my hand, still using the Rode SmartLock Plus external microphone, 
and this is the GoPro. I want to see if there's any real difference in video quality. I'm still using linear. Let's switch over to the iPhone and see if it looks any different. And now over to the iPhone and I am using the rear camera and I have it set to 1x. The nice thing is I can zoom out and use the wide angle lens. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool angle there. So I can do that as I'm talking. And then if I just want to tap it again, I can zoom in if I want to look at a certain part, certain component. So that is what I'm calling the bike review test, just to get an idea of what these videos look like when I'm standing behind the camera and talking and going over a bike. Now I've brought these cameras indoors into my YouTube studio. And so I've got some pretty good lighting behind me, some studio lighting, some really good natural lighting coming in from my right side. So I want to see what these look like in this scenario. Now, this is where I would normally use my DSLR. There's really no reason not to because that has the best image quality. But maybe I'm in a situation where I just want to shoot indoors and I don't have my DSLR with me. So right now, this is the GoPro Hero 9 now recording on the iPhone 12. The lighting is the same. I've got a lot of natural light coming in from my right side, the studio lighting behind me. It looks a little harsh, like it looks like there's some shadows on my face. Even though it's more work shooting in flat color with the GoPro Hero 9 and then color grading it, you can really customize the color depending on the situation. So if you're outdoors, you may use a different color setup than you are indoors like this. So I want to do a quick low light comparison. So the only light that I have coming in is a window that's about 10 feet from behind the phone. And I am using the built-in microphone for this test, just so you can get an idea of what they sound like on that outside with all the wind. And now over to the GoPro, also using the built-in microphone. Now I found that with these small sensor cameras, whether it's an iPhone or a GoPro, you've got to have some pretty good lighting. So I would imagine this video is going to be a little bit grainy. Same lighting situation as with the iPhone 12. I've got a window about 10 feet from behind the camera. So that'll wrap up this part two of comparing the iPhone 12 to the GoPro Hero 9. Again, everything that you've seen shot in this video was using flat color on the GoPro and then going back and color grading it. Now I realize that's not something that everybody's gonna wanna do, but for me, it's how I get the best video. Now, that's one thing nice about the iPhone is you can just pull this thing out of your pocket and for the average shooter, you're gonna get really good video without having to mess around with the settings. I'm not gonna do any still image comparisons in this video because in the first video that I made with the GoPro Hero 9, I concluded that even though the images are pretty good coming out of the GoPro and I could use them, they still don't compare to a smartphone like the iPhone 12 or the Google Pixel. So if I'm out and I have a phone with me for still images, I'm gonna use the phone every time. That's just the way it is. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the comparison of the video quality with the iPhone 12 and the GoPro Hero 9. And if you watched the first video that I made, let me know if you see a difference and shooting the GoPro in flat color and color grading it versus just shooting in GoPro color. As always, any questions or comments that you have, drop those below. Thanks for watching.